Thank you, Abraham. Oh, there's a lot of adrenaline just to get to this place. My friend and I are entrepreneurs. She's here. And we know it. We are on the path of finding our niche. Um, so I guess my question is really also about deliberate creation. All right. So let's just use softer words than that just for a moment. And we're not going to interrupt you a lot. Well, maybe we will. But <laughs> finding our path. Say that different. You got it. Now, say it different now. Finding our path. Instead of finding our path, what's a better way to say that? We are entrepreneurs. We are entrepreneurs preparing ourselves vibrationally through the caring of how we feel. Exactly. For our path to be realized by us. Now, we could say for our path to reveal itself, but we want you to understand this distinction. Your path is always revealing itself 100% of the time. Why are you not seeing it? Why are you not realizing it? That's the question. Your path is revealing itself to you. What must you do in order to realize the path that is revealing itself to you? That matters. That's a distinction that almost no one gets. We can have a thousand discussions every day with people that are trying this and trying this and trying this. And if you don't get that, you don't get anything. You got to get that. Mm -hmm. All right. Volume doesn't help. We know. <laughs> so these ideas, they keep coming to us. We're at this place where we work today and we have walks and we think and these great ideas come in. All right. So now let's just stop there mm -hmm. and rest with that for a moment. Savor it. Ideas come. Ideas are coming. So what does that feel like to you? The ideas are coming to you. The ideas are coming to you. The ideas are coming to you. So feel the momentum of ideas are coming. Now feel yourself introduce a wobble factor. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Are these good ideas? In other words, don't have to introduce that wobble factor. Ideas are coming. Ideas are coming. The ideas are coming. The momentum of the ideas is strong. An idea occurred to us that was so powerful, we could not deny it. Feel that. An idea came, but we don't know if it's the right one or not. Feel that. An idea came that was so powerful that we could not not move forward on it. Feel the momentum of that. Ideas are coming, but I'm trying to hire someone and 10,000 people sent me their resumes and I have to sort through 10,000 resumes. Feel the struggle in that. And that's sort of kind of what you're doing with the ideas that are coming. You're sort of sorting through 10,000 resumes of ideas. But when one rises to the top, it just stands out. It doesn't need an announcement. It doesn't need an introduction. It is undeniable. It is unavoidable. It is so right in its logicalness that nothing can keep you from moving forward on that. And until it feels like that, keep enjoying the ideas that are coming. Okay. You see what we're getting at? You get so eager to act on the idea because you're so ready to turn the idea into a million dollars. You're so ready to turn that idea into a really good lover. You're so ready to turn that idea into something that you really, really want that you don't let it ever come because you keep introducing resistance into the equation. You got it. I want it all and I want it now. No, you don't. If it all came now, it would be a burden in a wobble. You don't want it all now. Do you want to eat all the food that you're ever going to eat for the rest of your life? Do you want to eat it today? You don't, you don't want it all now. You don't even want to ever say that again. You don't want it all now. That's just your way of saying, I don't have enough now. Oh, right. that's what you're saying to the universe. I want it all now. Think about what you just said. That's ridiculous. <laughs> of course you don't want it all now. You want some of it now, but you're getting it now. Ideas are coming. You said, you said ideas are coming. Our ideas coming. Ideas are coming. So you're getting some of it now. Well, I want more than what's coming now. You can't get there from there. Right. It's about giving yourself permission. You can find better words. It's about letting yourself be all right with now. Instead of comparing now with what you really think you want. It's that comparison that 
puts a shield over now that doesn't let the more come so feel the difference between ideas are coming and, and they feel good and oh it's nice to have ideas I like having ideas it's nice to have a, a co-creative partner who also has ideas Esther was thinking this morning she has a lot of really good friends but this one particular couple they are both beautiful and delightful they are they are fun and they are funny and they are intelligent and they are clever and they are really deep into this work and they are deliberate in their creation and they are fun and they are funny that's the operative word for Esther they are fun and they are funny one of them is more dominant in his expression and the other one is less dominant in his expression but they're really lovely together it's fun to watch the balance of them one of them does a lot of talking and is totally entertaining to Esther the other one does very little talking but something about when he talks ideas hatch in Esther's mind it's like she never hears what he says he just creates this atmosphere that is conducive to ideas hatching in Esther's mind she was thinking the other day I never let him get a whole sentence out before I interrupt him I never even really hear what he was there to say he's just the best preparer it's like he makes this fertile ground it's like he turns my brain into this magnificent receiver and we say don't you all want friends like that and then Esther thought and he never seems annoyed that none of us ever let him say a whole sentence <laughs> he never quite gets it all spit out and he talks really really fast because he knows they're not gonna let him get it out <laughs> he knows he knows they're not gonna really let him get it out so he's trying to say it as fast as he can say it because because boy he's got a point he wants to make and he knows that he's not gonna let him get it out. and Esther says I just got the best idea so what we're getting at here is you want to create for yourself as best you can an atmosphere where you just let those ideas hatch don't be so quick to try to verbalize them and don't be so quick to try to turn them into things and don't be so quick to try to get somebody else to understand them and most of all and this is really for you don't try to defend your position against your partner in other words when you meld when you blend that's when the best ideas come you're not in competition with your partner this is a co-creative thing and there's this thing that so many of you do in your co-creative process where you want to be right you want to be right and the reason that you feel like you are right hear this you're gonna like this the reason you feel like you are right is because law of attraction keeps validating the beliefs you hold you are not the discoverer of truths you are the creator of them so it's not a matter of right and wrong it's a matter of focus and validation and focus and validation Esther would say to us Abraham you probably don't think I should be talking about this but it is true and we would say the fact that it exists as evidence has no basis for your reason for giving it your attention there are all kinds of things that are true that you don't want to attract or that you don't want to be part of your vibration so this feels a little off to you slightly but it's big not just with you but with all of you we want to find a way to help you not need so much to explain or validate the rightness of where you stand but just to know it because the universe will validate it when you find it and you're looking for validation you're looking for clarification you're looking for love in all the wrong places in that you're looking for it in other people instead of in your own emotional alignment so find it in your alignment and then other people will validate it but don't get it turned the other way around you heard what we meant there didn't you all right so that was a little longer interruption than we promised you but now what it was perfect it was about the gelling and knowing when the right idea comes and when is and that I when do you know that the right idea has come right in the way that you mean it when do you know that 
I think you've answered it, Abraham. When do you know it? It just it's undeniable that we can't not act on it is what you said. The and momentum it just feels right. is such that there's no possible way that you can't act on it. Yeah. And until then, let it gestate a little longer until it feels like that. Cool. Esther has a friend that wrote a book, really good book, Why Your Life Sucks and What to Do About It. <laughs> and the line that Esther took away from it and she thinks about it every single day if it's not a hell yes it's a hell no that's really what we're talking about here let the momentum get big and then follow through and otherwise follow through introduces wobble awesome it is thank you yeah